Out of these three mascot horror games, which do you think will come to Fortnite? Do you think all of them will? Or maybe even none? Before we begin this video, leave your guesses down below in the comment section and at the end of the video. Revisit your comment to see if you got them right. Mascot Horror is a genre of horror games known for its colorful cast of characters gone rogue. But something else Mascot Horror games all have in common is that none of them have made their way into Fortnite yet. Despite Fortnite's hundreds of collaborations with other IPs, not a single one of them involve Freddy Fazbear, Huggy Wuggy, or Ban Ban. But today, we'll evaluate each of these franchises to predict whether they have a fighting chance to secure their way into the Fortnite item shop or end up being a Fortnite item flop. I've also hidden three mascot horror items crossing over with Fortnite throughout this video, each ranging in difficulty. And the first person to find them all gets pinned. So pay close attention. First of all, we have to set some ground rules for the minimum requirements of a game to get a Fortnite call-up. A sort of checkbox, if you will. The game has to be popular, which all three games obviously check off. The developers have to be interested in a Fortnite collaboration. And last but not least, Fortnite themselves has to recognize the franchise in some way. Let's start off with Five Nights at Freddy's. This is the most anticipated mascot horror collaboration with Fortnite so it would make sense if we began here. Many people actually thought that we were going to get the Fortnite X Five Nights at Freddy's collab on August 5th, specifically being the secret collab as a part of the franchise's 10th anniversary calendar. But, it turns out that the collaboration was with Dead by Daylight instead. Although Fortnite fans still hold out hope for the collaboration, it's pretty unlikely. In the Scott Cawthon interview 2.0 held by fellow YouTuber Dorco, Scott specifically mentions that he'd only do collaborations that suit the brand. Hence the Dead by Daylight collab, since both are popular horror games focusing on killers. And Fortnite just doesn't fit the puzzle. The game also hasn't been recognized or mentioned by Fortnite, which means both our second and third checkbox can't be marked here. The only reason why I believe there is a slim chance the collab could happen is because of the amount of support from the community with a Fortnite collaboration. The amount of people wanting this collaboration to exist may actually end up convincing Scott to go through with it. But, it's still extremely unlikely. Sorry Fortnite fans. Next is Poppy Playtime, which actually has a much better chance at appearing in Fortnite. Since the developers have not explicitly ruled out the possibility of a collaboration with a game like Fortnite. Which gives our second checkbox a maybe. Fortnite hasn't acknowledged the existence of Poppy Playtime, which means that we can't mark our third box either. Overall, although still unlikely, I have hope for a Poppy Playtime collaboration in the foreseeable future. And last but not least, we have gotten a Ban Ban, which is a yes, 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 and yes all the way. First and foremost, the Euphoric Brothers have just brought Gotten of Banban into Fortnite a few days ago, which means that they have to be interested in a Fortnite collaboration. But the nail in the coffin? To prove that this collaboration is destined to happen, the official Fortnite Twitter account retweeted the Gotten of Banban on Fortnite announcement trailer. Although this may seem small, it confirms that Fortnite themselves have recognized Garten of Banban as a franchise and want to help boost its popularity. This means that our checklist is fully accounted for, which leaves a high likelihood for a Fortnite collaboration. And make sure to share in the comments where you found the three mascot horror Fortnite items to be the pinned comment.